Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I have a tag video for you. It's a collab and a tag video. And I am actually collabing with uh, Kitty Cat Loves Makeup. Her name is Kathy. We talked about getting together and collabing and I was already in the process of thinking about maybe doing some form of a Christmas tag and coming up with a few questions. So I did some questions and she did some questions. We kind of combined ours together and made a Christmas tag. So this Christmas tag is called, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So if you guys want to stick around and hear our questions and answers, keep on watching. Like I said, I collabed with Kitty Cat Loves Makeup, and her name is Kathy. I've gotten to know her uh, for a while now, and she has such a wonderful personality on here. She has this very soft-spoken voice, and a lot of people talk about my voice, but she has one of those voices, too, that's very soft-spoken, very genuine, very, very lovely to listen to. She's, you know, sharing uh, maybe a review or doing a get ready with me or any of those kind of things. She does gear more into, I believe, cruelty free. So if that is something that you guys look for, uh, she would definitely be a channel to go ahead and check out. I will put a link down below to her video. Please go check her out. Show her some love and subscribe if you like. But as, as always, I don't feel you'll be disappointed. All right, so let's get into this tag, shall we? And then I'm gonna tag a few people at the very end. People that I know do like to do tags because not everybody likes to do tags and that's fine. You'll put some people down below. I didn't tag you, don't take no offense, offense to that. I'm just trying to think of some of the people that I know for a definite that do like doing tags and probably would do this. But by all means, consider yourself tag if you wanna do this. I would love to see you guys do it and share your answers. So let's get started. Pulling up a screen to read mine, that's how I usually do a lot of my stuff here when I do a tag video. So the first few questions will be my questions. We figured we'd do uh, the five that I came up with and then the five that she came up with. So there's 10 in total. So when do you start your Christmas shopping? Well, I will be honest with you, when I start my Christmas shopping, when the kids were little, more younger and everything, I started pretty early, like around August and September. Now, I haven't even started yet. <laughs> I'll probably maybe start, hopefully tomorrow, my son's here now, so we were talking about maybe just going out for a bit, so maybe I can start something then, I don't know, but yeah, I've lately been the last minute shopper, I hate to say, uh, like, not a week before Christmas, but a few weeks before Christmas. Do you use Christmas wrap or bag? Uh, some people use both. Some people use one or the other. And I used to use Christmas wrap. I probably will for my little granddaughter because, you know, it is fun to rip open that paper and open up your gift and see what you got, you know, for especially a kid. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it myself sometimes too. But as of late, yes, I've been getting the gift bags pretty much. Do you have a favorite Christmas tradition? Christmas tradition here, I know like if anything, we open up our gifts on Christmas Eve and do everything on Christmas Eve. Christmas Day is a little more of a day where we relax. We still, you know, like have a dinner and everything, but it's just a little more calming that day. Just we've always done Christmas Eve more hyped up in my in my house since I was a kid and it's just always been like that so maybe another tradition that I can think of is a lot of times you know we will put some certain Christmas movies on um, Christmas with the Cranks could is one that comes to my mind and Christmas Vacation or some of those ones that's something that we do for a tradition share a favorite moment when when I was a child. I honestly had quite a few. I had a lot. And being that my dad, um, he's been passed away for like about 18 years now, but he was huge. He was big into Christmas. I mean, big, huge into Christmas. One of my favorite memories, and I'm not sure if I ever shared this. Sometimes I feel like I might have, but then I don't know if I did in a past video but it is a favorite memory for me as a, as a child. And that was still when I believed in Santa Claus. 
we were downstairs on Christmas Eve and, you know, and like I said, we'd have some people over or something like that sometimes. And I think my aunt, my cousin were here. All of a sudden I heard this big thump of a noise and it was like, uh oh, you know, like it's Santa Claus, it's Santa Claus. And we would run upstairs, me and my brother or me and my brother and sister, I think she might've been still living at home at the time, but jump in bed, pretend we're sleeping. And when you heard the thump, that used to be my dad as I learned obviously later on, it would be him who would be hitting the side of uh, the back part of our house. Uh, he'd make this thump noise and, you know, we'd think it was Santa on the rooftop. Of course, didn't put two and two together because when you're a kid, you, you know, you're just all hyped up in the whole moment. And I do now thinking of it, I remember my, like my dad, he'd take the presents from upstairs and bring them all downstairs. So that's what he did in the process, like while we were pretending we were sleeping. And then we had some bells off to the side by the door, like on a ribbon kind of a thing, and then some bells. And when you heard that shake and the ho, 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 Merry Christmas, we knew that it was safe to pretty much come downstairs, but we still waited till like my mom or somebody would say, okay, you know, and you hear the front door shut and yeah, go downstairs, dash downstairs, there was all the presents under the tree. And I still think that would have to be probably one of my favorite things as a child to always remember how far in depth my father went just to make me um, remember Christmas and think of Christmas and everything. But it was funny because I remember as a kid, I used to say to my mom, because as we hear too, as, as when you're you know, a little child, you know, Santa comes down the chimney and he comes through the fireplace and that's how he, you know, we didn't have one of those. And I remember asking him, I'm like, mom, you know, like how's Santa going to come in our house? And she told me the front door. So lo and behold, you know, of course that's what my dad, that's why he shut the door. And you know, one of those cardboard fireplaces that you used to be able to put up. Does anybody remember those? I don't know if anybody remembers those, but it was like cardboard fireplace. And maybe they still do, do, do have those. But used to put up and there was like you could light it up inside there was some kind of light inside and it gave you a light effect or something i don't know if anybody will remember that but that's what we had too and as a little kid i used to think that's how in some sense i don't know i had all these visions my parents even told me to make sure i was not being naughty and be nice because the elves could watch me and they would tell me that the elves would be uh, through the vents, like looking through the, through the heater vents. And that's how, you know, they could watch me and see if I was being naughty or nice. So I remember as a kid, I used to try to peek down in through there, you know, like, like I like literally thought I was going to see an elf in there, you know, and I just figured the reason why I didn't was because, you know, they didn't want me to know they were there. It was funny because I actually used that when my kids were little. I used to use that on them when they were growing up to tell them that, hey, elves are watching you. You know, you better sit down and behave because them elves are watching you. On Christmas day, everyone is at grandma's house, mom's house, or your place. When I was little, we used to go to my grandma's house. When I was living with their father, and also when I was living on my own with the kids, we used to come to mom's a lot too. But as of now and as of late, it's here at the house. Okay, so that was number five. So now we're on to number six. This is, if you could have a big YouTuber do your makeup for Christmas party, who would it be? There's a few people that come to my mind that I would love to have do my makeup. Uh, one would be Wayne Goss. Another would be Emily Noel. But the person I probably would love to have is Candy Johnson, actually. I would love to have Candy Johnson come over, sit down, have a chat with her, talk to her about her experiences as, ever since she's become the YouTuber that she has, and just learn even more about her, like a one-on-one -on -one kind of a thing, and have her do my makeup. So I think that would be the person I would definitely pick as Candy Johnson. I do think pretty highly of her. And do you buy yourself presents for Christmas? Like to me, for me gifts. 
Yes, I actually do. I have, I, I am known to do that. You know, like we'll go out Christmas shopping and, you know, I'll just get a little something sometimes here and there too. Or if I know there's something I really want, like, like one of the Natasha Denona little, them palettes or whatever, like, yeah, that, you know, I'm not going to expect somebody else to get it. So I'll be like, yeah, that's, that's for me to me kind of a thing. Yeah. Sometimes I do. If I, a loved one wants to get you a gift card for Christmas, do you choose Alta? Or do you choose Sephora? This one's simple. I would choose Alta unless there was something in Sephora I specifically wanted. But Alta and Sephora do have some same brands that they sell. You know, uh, Alta I like because they do have the drugstore. So they have the mix of the drugstore and the high end. And But Sephora does have some brands that obviously Alta doesn't carry vice versa with each of them. But the one thing that sticks with me with Alta that I really love is their points. Like I feel they have a better setup with the point system and everything. I do like Sephora's uh, samples, like because you get some deluxe samples, but I like Alta so much more better. I will be honest. I really do. I like, I'm, I'm a platinum uh, member. So that tells you how much I really like Alta. I'm a platinum member with Alta. With Sephora, I'm just a VIB. I'm not even VIB Rouge at this point. Yeah, Alta is my, my place. So number nine, if you could only use one eyeshadow palette for the whole month of December, what would it be? Well, the eyeshadow palette I would pick is the Lorac Mega Pro 4, the newer one. And why I would pick this one is I love the color scheme in here and the reason why I love my oranges, I love my cranberries and all those colors. I've gotten really into a lot of those those colors, but we are seeing a lot of palettes that have that similarity. So this one here has a little more of a difference for me, you know, like it's not the same uh, colors that we're seeing a lot. And it does have some beautiful colors you could use during Christmas for your Christmas party and Christmas Eve party and even into New Year's and everything because you have your blues here, your green, you have silvers in here. You do have some neutral colors up here you could work with. And like I love my cranberries and my orange colors. I've really gotten into that and golds and everything. Um, there is like a copper pearl here, you know, I could use in reference to if I didn't, you know, have a gold, there's a honey here. So, you know, I really love those colors, but to change it up and play around with this palette more and just to change it up with the colors and everything, I would probably pick this one here, the Mega Pro 4 from Lorac. And the very last one, number 10, you have a very small purse, like a clutch to take with you to a holiday gathering. In order to let your phone and your wallet be to fit, you can only choose one makeup item to bring what do you choose? That's simple and easy. At first, I thought it was going to be a little bit of a challenge because I was thinking like, what would I really bring? You know, like what would it, because, you know, sometimes you might get a little bit oily later on, even though I'm somebody that has very dry skin right now. Um, I still get some oiliness every once in a while, or, you know, it kind of comes through when you're, you're wearing your makeup. But you know what? Me, when I got in them little bit of a pickle like that before, when I was out somewhere, I just go in the bathrooms and they would have, you know, them paper towels hanging there or toilet paper, just, you know, dab it. And there you go. You know, you, you help prevent that. So I would say lipstick, lipstick, lip gloss, whatever lip product I'm wearing, I would take that with me just in case I had to reapply it or something like that. So that is the 10 questions in the tag. Go ahead and think of some people here that I want to tag and I'll put them down below. And like I said, if you would like to do this and this sounds like something fun that you would like to do, then by all means do so. First one I can think of is Kathy Beauty Care Chats. I tag you. I also tag Heidi Ann. Um, I tag Glitzy Fritzy Mary. I know she loves to do a lot of tags, so I'm going to tag Glitzy Fritzy Mary. I'm going to tag Sheila. I'm trying to think of Sheila's channel's name. It's Lily something Lily. Sheila watches my videos and stuff. She'll know who she is. I'll put her down below. I tag Sheila. 
I also tag Mary Ellen after 60. I know she likes to do some tags sometimes, and I think it would be fun to hear some of her memories and fondest things to do. So Mary Ellen after 60. I also tag Ronalyn Nipo. I know she likes to do some tags too. I also tag Ronalyn Nipo. If you want to do this, like I said, by all means do it. Do the tag. With, I'd love to see you and your, hear you, what your answers are. Please don't take no offense. I just, I'm trying to think of everybody. And as it goes, sometimes you can't think of everybody. And so, like I said, some people don't always do tags or like to do tags. But by all means, if you want to do it, I'd love that. Thank you, Kathy, for joining me. I do really appreciate that. I had so much fun collaborating together, coming up with our little questions and everything. So I can't wait to hear what her answers are going to be. And please make sure you go check her out. I will have a link down below to her channel. And, you know, like I said, show her some love and subscribe if you like. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much. And I very much appreciate that. Also, if you are not subscribed and if you came from Kathy's uh, channel, welcome. I hope you stick around and join me. Um, I do put videos up every week. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. And as well, right next to the subscribe button, there is a bell. Make sure you hit both of them because then that way, not only are you subscribing to my channel, but the bell will notify you by email and let you know when my new videos are uploaded and ready to watch. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys take care. I will see you then. I love you guys very much. Mwah. Bye.